distinguished faculties write to the president that recall this fellow called Apparav. Now, should an institution suffer because of an individual? This, we as students must have to think. Should an institution suffer because of an individual? Here, Apparav is an individual who has been supported by his Kamma lobby operated by a, 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 a Kamma vice chancellor, a Kamma registrar, and a Kamma deputy registrar security supported by another Peta Kamma uh, who is sitting in Delhi, Ringle and Iru. Now, is this Hyderabad Central University or Kamma Central University? Now, now if, you are, if you are making this university into that regressive space, can we as students accept it in to be transformed into that state of affairs? I would say a big no. I cannot tolerate it. Because I cannot tolerate it because Rohit Vemula does not want it to tolerate. Because Rohit Vemula does not want identities to take primacy in this world. Instead, humanity should take, take the primacy in this world. Now, what happened after our, after our arrest? Electricity cut down, mess cut down, water cut down. What happened later? There is a flourishing humanity that has come from outside, not from inside. There are neighboring residents who have said, we will open homes for your students. We will offer food for you and students. It is a signal of humanity that has come after justice for Rohit Vemula incident. I think this credit must go to each and every student who has taken part in this justice for Rohit Vemula moment. Today, today, I would see this moment not as a moment between castes, but between a group of people who are supporting casteism and between a group of people who, are, who want to annihilate caste. This is a movement for annihilation of caste, where for the first time, for the first time, all students, irrespective of caste, class, creed, have come together and are talking against caste. Just for the first time that is happening in the history of the country. I think this moment has a lot of significance. And HCU must be proud of it. HCU is setting an example in this direction. Hence, friends, I think, I mean, uh, when we have uh, any other sort of uh, press conference, we have for the, for few other details which are more sort of political rhetorics than the updates that we were to tell. But there are more intricating uh, things that we faced when we were uh, taken from one jail to another jail. We were told our human rights are suppressed. When I was asked, Sir, I want to look at the FIR, what charges were framed against us. I want to know what is who, is who, who complained against me and other rest of, rest of us. Then the answer that I received from a police officer is that, your human rights are collapsed. Even if I hang you, no one can question you. Shame. Oh, I mean... <laughs> He need not tell that my human rights are collapsed because I knew this from a long time that my human rights are already collapsed in this country. That this fellow need not educate me on that. But however, later what happened is there is a flood of movement that has come from all across the state and all across the nation which forced which forced these same police people to call to the jailer and inquire whether there are any complaints that are going from this jail against us. That means the fight for human rights 
has begun, which has started frightening the same police force which has lati charged us. I think this becomes, this also becomes an important milestone in the entire movement. So friends, I will not take much time, I have already taken a lot of time. But I like to appeal to each and every student that in a student's career who is participating in movements, jail is something which is the last thing that anyone would wish to go. And also, jail is something that is the last option that anyone can exercise. And beyond that, if there is anything that murder or kill that person who is raising voice against the administration or the injustice. Now, we have reached to that point. Here, in the jail, I think all 27 of us, what we have decided was, when we come back to the campus, we will stand firm and we will take this movement of justice for Rohit Vemala forward because if they want to slap, they will slap another case and they will take us to the same jail where they have put us and where we felt that HCU under the rule of Appa Rao is much worse than the jail where we have stayed. <laughs> hence, hence, we will stand, we will fight till this fellow Appa Rao is removed as Vice Chancellor from this university, till justice for Rohit Femula is reached and till these thoughts that are circulating amongst various students are removed. And I would assure that I am not, I'm not caring for anything else but justice for Rohit Femula at this juncture. Thank you. Thank you.